Uh, she is, uh, does a process of fish printing called Gyutaku. It's a Japanese uh, f art form. And uh, Lisa, tell us how it works. And sure, yeah. So Gyutaku, um, it roughly translates to fish rubbing. So what that means is you guys catch a fish, you come on down to the beautiful Florida Keys, whatever species that you catch that you're gonna have for dinner that night, I come out to you and I make a beautiful piece of art that you can remember for the rest of your life. So the process is, once we have the fish, I dry them off really, really well. I add very, very non-toxic water-based um, paint. I apply that to the fish. Then I place a, a Japanese style paper on top of the fish, making sure to get all of its dorsal fins, pectoral fins, around it, their, their jaws, their cheeks, getting every one of those little details in there. Um, I press that paper all the way through, let that soak for just a second, and then I pull the paper off and we have a, um, a, an imprint of your fish. It's exactly your fish, whether you caught it hook and line, if there's a spear mark on it, if it has uh, a fin that's loose, whatever it is, it is your exact fish. It's almost like a mount or a taxidermy without having the 3D image of it. It's actually your fish on the paper. And then what I do is I bring it back in my gallery. I add some colors to it. I embellish their eye, however you'd like. And, um, and, uh, and you have a, a forever momentum of your catch for that day. And not only that, you get to take the fish and eat it, That's right? That's right. Then you just, the, the captain or whoever you're with will spray that fish right off. All the, the, the paints just run right off. They fillet it up and you take it to one of our amazing restaurants and they'll cook it right up for you. It's awesome. It's very cool. What a story. The whole, the whole process from going out fishing, I get to do a piece of your art, then everybody sits around the table and enjoys it, and it's a story that lasts forever. It's really neat. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome.